Hey YouTube, it's IEC and today we have something important to discuss in the world of iOS. Apple has seeded the second beta iteration of iOS 9.3.3 to register developers, what will hopefully be one of the last iOS 9.3.x updates, and what will definitely be the last iOS update before we get the new iOS 10 beta, which of course will be released on June 13th at WWDC. We'll get into that in just a second. First though, if you want to get the wallpaper I'm rocking here on my iPhone 6S Plus, down below in the more info, the very first link that you see will contain the wallpaper. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this and talk about iOS 9.3.3 and kind of what we can expect in jailbreaking moving forward. All right, so I'm just here on Apple's developer portal, which is accessible without having to log in. You just, of course, cannot download the IPSWs or certificates, but let's go ahead and tap on refresh and you'll see that we have iOS 9.3.3 beta 2. And when we scroll down, it was posted today's date, June 6, 2016, with a new updated build number of 13G21, again, slightly higher than the old build number for the first beta of 9.3.3. Now, let's talk about this update in general first before we kind of diverge and talk about jailbreaking. So iOS 9.3.3 doesn't really have any outward facing changes whatsoever. They're all just under the hood and focused on correcting bugs that were introduced by iOS 9.3. Point three, which was a rather substantial update. Of course, it included night shift, security for notes, including the ability to access your notes and lock them via Touch ID, Apple Music updates, as well as CarPlay, and a number of others, particularly in the education sector. So iOS 9.3 was absolutely huge, and it introduced a number of new bugs that were corrected in not only 9.3.1 and 9.3.2, but now 9.3.3. Again, inside of the latest change log for this new firmware, where we really don't have any new changes whatsoever that the end user will notice aside from general bug corrections and performance enhancements. Now iOS 9.3.x in general has been focused on stabilization and of course that's likely what jailbreak developers have been waiting for a stable version of iOS 9.3.x before pushing out a new jailbreak utility. I know there are so many individuals who are impatient right now in the world of jailbreaking and the community in general is starting to become more toxic. Now this is nothing new remember Remember, jailbreak developers always take a long time to release new utilities, and this isn't the longest we've had to wait. Even when we don't count the surprise iOS 9.1 jailbreak that Pangu issued, thanks to Loki Hart's unexpected contribution to the world of jailbreaking. Remember, this is not the end, and as hacker Luca Tedesco has shown, jailbreaking will continue to persist, and it will always exist. Now, all bets are off on whether we get a jailbreak or not in a timely manner, because guess what? Chances are good we won't. I want you guys to think back to the evaders and before they even came on to the jailbreak scene. Even after they did, we only really received one new jailbreak a year. We had one iOS 6 jailbreak and then one iOS 7 jailbreak before Pangu came onto the scene and released their 7.1.x jailbreak out of absolutely nowhere. That's another thing. That's how jailbreak developers operate. They just release jailbreak utilities. Do not expect a jailbreak from anyone demoing a utility or showing screenshots or some form of pre proof that they can jailbreak iOS 9.3.x because chances are good they almost certainly will not release a utility and as far as Luca goes he's already said definitively that he won't issue a new jailbreak himself however he may contribute in the future to new utilities we'll just have to wait and see on that front but as far as expecting utility from him or anyone else claiming that they have a jailbreak simply don't they're not going to release one of their own in the past as I mentioned legitimate jailbreak groups have just issued their utility out of the blue and surprise the entire community. That's what we can expect this time around. And while they previously were targeting earlier 9.3 firmwares, including iOS 9.3.1 and 9.3.2, following updates have kind of pushed that back and extended what we can actually expect. However, we can kind of relate this situation to last year with iOS 8.3 and 8.4. Remember, 8.4 was really the last major iOS update before we received iOS 9 beta. Of course, we did get 8.4.1, but that was merely to patch the Taiji jailbreak. So the same situation will hopefully happen this time around with iOS 9.3.3. Hopefully this will finally be the last firmware in iOS 9.3.x updates before iOS 10 and Apple will kind of cool it with iOS 9 because remember they do have to allocate resources to developing for iOS 10 because guess what? We're actually going to get our first beta of iOS 10 next week. And once that happens, Apple is going to be so focused on 
releasing new iOS 10 betas that hopefully again they will not have the resources for iOS 9 updates. That's why they're trying to get it right with iOS 9.3.3 and that's why we already have three 9.3.x updates is because they want to ensure that everything is copacetic and functioning properly with 9.3.3 before moving on to iOS 10 and again kind of siphoning off their resources to move on to the next installment to iOS. So as you can see here, just on Apple's own website, down below at the bottom, of course, WWDC is going to be held on June 13th. The starting date is always when Apple holds their unveiling of the next installments to iOS, as well as OS 10 and possibly other goodies. We can most likely expect the next version of Watch OS as well. But at any rate, Apple is going to release iOS 10 beta one next week. And maybe that's also when we can expect iOS 9.3.3 to be released to the public directly preceding or following WWDC's keynote presentation. So 9.3.3 is going to be released soon either way. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. All we can really do is analyze what's happened in years past and kind of try to relate the current situation to that because as I mentioned, legit jailbreak developers do not give ETAs. They do not give announcements. They just release jailbreaks. So we can kind of analyze things, pick up on some whispers that we've heard here and there. Remember for the first First iOS 9.3.3 beta, I actually discussed a rumor concerning Taiji and how their interest has never faded where jailbreaking is concerned and that they're still active and attempting to create a new jailbreak utility that is suitable for release to the masses. That's another thing. Some of these jailbreaks that we've seen, especially some of Tedesco's, have not been releasable. They've just been proofs of concept and to show that a jailbreak is definitely possible with some or most of the components actually required for a public release missing. So keep that in mind. That's why one individual appears to be able to jailbreak iOS 9.3.x when entire teams like Pangu can't. So I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. Hopefully this video has helped. If you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new ones covering various things ranging from jailbreak to iOS updates, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.